Hi, I'm Leah Daughtry. I am the CEO of the 2008 Democratic National Convention. And we've gotten quite a few questions from you and we'd like to take some time to answer them. Uh, what role will bloggers have at this particular convention? Well, over the years, the influence of bloggers has grown, and so we're going to keep pace with that growth and with that influence that the blogging community has uh, in our world these days. Uh, in 2004, we had just 30 credentialed bloggers, and obviously times have changed, and we're going to keep pace with that. So uh, there'll be many more uh, credentialed bloggers as part of our coverage this time around, and we're very excited about that. Um, we hope that... Um, with the change in times, with the change of technology, that the con credential bloggers will actually be able to offer to uh, the community a different perspective or a broadened perspective of what happens during convention week. It's exceptionally busy. There are people here from all over the country, really all over the world. And we hope that the credential bloggers will help us to tell the story of the convention from the view of the, uh, of the delegates who come, of the guests, of the 56 territories and states that are here, of the people who come from around the world, uh, really help us to get our message out across the country, across the world. I'm a blogger from Denver, but I'm trying to help bloggers from other communities come out and cover the convention. What sort of measures is the convention taking to see that there might be housing there for them when they get there? Well, all bloggers are invited to apply for housing through the DNCC's uh, media housing process. And if you haven't already done so, you should go online right away at our website, www.demconvention.com, to file your application. We've got plenty of rooms, and we uh, hope to be able to take care of everyone who needs to uh, have a room and who's here to cover the convention. So as a recovering newspaper reporter, how do I go about doing this blog thing? I'm probably not the best person to ask this question to since I'm really just learning all about this myself, but in the short time that I've been engaged in posting blogs on our own website, I found that the simplest thing to do is just dive right in and start swimming. Uh, post your own, get your blog up, registered, and uh, start posting content, and as you get accustomed to it, let other people know what you're doing and, and get your stories out there and get your, uh, your site out there and, into the public sphere. And if it really takes off, then you should uh, consider applying for a credential for the, uh, as part of the State Blogger Corps. I'd like to know what steps the DNCC will be taking to ensure that the rights of those who want to get messages to the delegates uh, will be protected at the Denver Convention. Well, I'm glad to know that we have the same goals, which is to get our message out to the delegates, to the media, to the folks who are coming from around the world to share in that week of the convention with us. Uh, it is very important to us as Democrats that the freedoms provided and protected by the First Amendment are in fact enforced, and that is a cornerstone for our planning of this convention. We're not currently involved in the discussions about security, but as we become involved down the road, you can be assured that the principles that we stand on as Democrats, uh, the protection of all of our freedoms, uh, will be uppermost in our minds as we plan. I'm from Longmont, which is about 45 minutes north of Denver, and I'd like to know how other people like me from Longmont and other communities can be involved in this convention. There are quite a few ways that you can be involved, even though you're not in Denver proper. First is um, to become a delegate to the convention. Uh, delegates are primarily grassroots people who just take the bull by the horns and run to become a delegate and have their first experience right here in the hall. So I'd encourage you to go to the Colorado Democratic Party's website and find out what the procedures are and, and run to become a delegate. Uh, the second thing you can do is to volunteer. We need thousands and thousands of volunteers. The convention simply can't run without them. And so I encourage you to go to our host committee's website uh, and uh, sign up and become a volunteer and help us to really make this convention work. And thirdly is, of course, participation in the online community. Uh, now because of the internet, distance doesn't deter anyone from participating in anything. And the, the convention is um, certainly part of that. So we encourage you to get involved in the online community, check out our website often. And then we will have new content all the time about how you can get involved. You may want to participate in our citizen photojournalism uh, project and all these other kinds of things. We want you to come back to our website again and again and again and see the ways that you can participate and help us to make this the best convention ever.
My question is, I am an acupuncturist here in Denver and I have been wanting to figure out how to be available on the vendors list so that those of you who are coming in in advance of the convention and need the services I have to offer can come and find me. Uh, there are any number of entities that participate during the convention, the media, uh, associations, uh, labor unions, you name it, and everyone's looking for uh, vendors that they can do business with here locally. So I would encourage you to make sure that your uh, business is registered in the vendor directory and you can go to www.denverconvention2 2008.com and uh, log your business in and as folks are looking for florists or car companies or greening companies or acupuncturists they know just where to go and they know how to find you. I'm a co-creator of Think Precinct, the grassroots organizing guide for progressive America and we are going to be holding trainings during the entire time of the convention from 9 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon very close to the Pepsi's Pepsi Center and we would like to have every single delegate that we can uh, attend one of our trainings. So my question for you Leah is how can we get the information about these trainings out to all of the delegates? Our delegates are some of the most politically active people that you will find in our country and because of their political bent they have resources and contacts all across the country. They regularly read the blogs and they pretty much like to be in the know about what's going on. So I would uh, suggest if you want them to know about the trainings that you're doing which sound like a fabulous thing, then you should do a couple of things. One, make sure that it's out on the blogosphere so people know how to find you and what your event is all about. Two, you want to join community sites such as Facebook and MySpace and make sure people know uh, how they can find you, what your event's about, and you can continually update the information. And third, you want to be in contact with groups like Progress Now right here in Denver uh, and let them know what you're doing and they will help you get the word out to the folks who are coming.